flow turbulence the first thought most of us have when we hear the word turbulence is the violent shaking of an aircraft this happens when the air flow around the aircraft is not smooth or uniform a fluid flow that is unsteady irregular and which exhibits chaotic fluctuations in both time and space is called a turbulent flow most fluid motions we encounter on a daily basis are generally turbulent and hence it is important for us to study and understand the science of turbulent flows mixing of milk in coffee or tea a river flow over a rough terrain smoke rising up from a chimney air flow over a car or an aircraft are some common examples of turbulent flows in fact the first recorded observation of turbulent fluid motion dates back to the time of leonardo da vinci through his now famous drawing of water emptying into a tank he depicted his thoughts on how there are structures of different sizes with varied characteristics it was almost after 300 years after da vinci that there was a renewed interest in the field of turbulent flows scientists like osborn reynolds richardson kolmogorov prandtl just to name a few started exploring the science behind turbulent flows and laid the foundation for defining the fundamentals of turbulence however they quickly found out that it is almost impossible to fully understand this phenomenon heisenberg's famous quote that even god does not have an answer for turbulence fully encompasses how difficult it is to analyze turbulence in fact richard feynman's words that turbulence is the most important unsolved problem of classical physics still holds even to this day i think you get the point about how hard it is to study turbulence even though our understanding of turbulence is not complete there is enough information about its basic characteristics which should help us get started in the subsequent lessons we will first look at what causes the laminar flows to transition to turbulence and then dig deeper into the description of turbulence and its characteristics